Hello guys, in this video uh, we are going to see some useful tips for NEET. So let me introduce myself first. I am Dr. Sonal Sachin. I did my schooling in Kendri Vidyalaya Narabedi Madurai and uh, I joined Gurukulam Academy in 8th standard and uh, I did my UG MBBS in Madurai Millennium College and I am presently going to do PG in AIMS. So what I am going to say in this video is some basic things that you must follow for any competitive exam for, but this way specifically for really focused for NEET exam. First thing I am going to speak is about the source. So it doesn't matter what source you are using uh, unless you are sticking to the source. So if you are uh, basically starting from a source, don't deviate the source. Trust the source you are going to read. For a need, basically the main source is all we know is NCRT. So if you are reading NCRT, trust NCRT and read everything. So don't deviate, don't doubt the source that you are reading it. So if you are thinking NCRT, from page 1 start reading and start reading every important things in NCRT book. And so we can add extra things in source but the primary source should always be the same. So make sure you don't change the source. So the next thing will be about passive reading versus active reading. See anyone can do passive reading. Just take a book, sit down for two hours, put a head down and start reading from line to line. Anyone can do passive reading. So the main difference between you and the top rank getter will be simple that he will do active reading. So what do you mean by active reading? You are reading a topic, you just read it and once the topic or a particular page is over, yes you have to recall within yourself what you have read. And also in active reading by means if after you are finishing a topic, you can solve MCQs of the topic. So that it will help you to recall. So ultimate aim for us is to recall the topic. So now, if you are check the topic, you will be able to check the topic. You will be able to check the topic. If you are not able to check the topic, you will be able to check the topic. So try to do active reading rather than passive reading. Ultimately, we are going to deal with MCQs. So think of MCQ as a friend. So they are giving the question, they are giving four options, they are just asking choose one. So you have one by four options of getting it correct, even though if you don't know the answer. So then comes to MCQ. Start loving MCQs. So yeah, make it a habit that you solve MCQs every day rather than dumping MCQs. So basically what my friend does is he does three days of reading and the fourth day he will say to himself I do full MCQs. What happens by that is you are dumping MCQs so as a result you will start hating it. So instead if you are doing uh, MCQs do every day. Say make it the goal I will do 25 MCQs this. In the key 25. Now I like 25. If you are doing it in a graded way and as the exam goes near you can increase the number of MCQs but never dump MCQs. By solving it daily, it becomes a habit. MCQ solving is an art. So only if you master it, you are going to crack any exam, not only me. So next we are going to talk about mock tests. So the purpose of mock test is not to judge you or to tell you that you are not doing it wrong, nothing. Main purpose is you are setting an atmosphere to simulate the main exam. So you are putting yourself in a precious situation so that you can deal when the actual exam comes. So always pick a nice and quiet atmosphere. Make sure if you are writing in house, make sure there will be no disturbances during the mock test. Even in a mock test, you should not take bathroom breaks. So think yourself as you are writing actual test rather than just writing a practice test. And uh, the, another main thing for mock test is, or mock test mudu chorne, annikke if you review the test, it's better for you. So you are finishing a mock test and if you are reviewing the test on the same day, you can do it within 2-3 to three hours. So that will be faster. Uh, some people will do it, they will give a mock test today and they will think we will see the solutions tomorrow. So what it does is, it increases the time between you see the questions. As I said, then tomorrow if you are solving it again, you have to read the question again. Whereas if you are reviewing the mock test on the same date, you can just go through the answers of the whatever questions you did wrong. So make sure you are reviewing the mock test same day and try to increase the number of times you are giving mock test. Don't be afraid of mock test. Mock test is going to just help you in the long process of the journey. So try to give more mock test and the better it is for you. So previous year questions, uh, more than previous year questions, the previous year topic should be dealt with. So what I am saying is, if you are asking a question in physics from a uh, topic, you are identifying the previous year question, you will know the answer for that particular question. They are definitely not going to ask the same question again. They will definitely change the concept. What will remain is the topic will be same. If they are going to ask from the topic, the topic will be repeated, of course will be repeated. There is no like every year they can't uh, give you new new topics but the questions will be different. So whenever you are seeing the previous year questions, think about the topic. Think whether in this to in the topic, think about the previous year topics instead of the previous year questions itself. Preparing for any competitive exam is not going to be a sprint. It is a marathon. You are going to have a long time. So you are going slow, but slowly you are going to that. So what is the main thing is schedule. So, or timetable is not going to You have a timetable should be of two things. A rough skeleton for a longer period. So, for the next three months, what I am going to do? What are subjects I am going to do? A long schedule. And for the next one week, break it hourly. So, tomorrow morning session I will do this. So, uh, there should be a short timetable which detail and a longer timetable which has to be the skeleton. So, unless you are not making a timetable. If you have a timetable, you don't know how to go. Suppose if you are going to lag on, you will not know. Whereas if you are having a timetable, you can know how you are going, whether you have to increase the pace or you know, slow up, detail up, detail up, and then you can go. So, schedule is very important. 
So I'm going to talk about reading style. So everyone will have a different reading style. I'm just going to tell what worked for me. So basically there are really two type of people. One set of people will think that if you're reading something, we have to read very detailing. You have to read every line in there, every word in there and you understand. What I do is, um, instead of reading one single time with full detail, I read multiple times. So when you're reading multiple times, the thing that you did not understand when you read it the first time will be automatically understood second time. Yeah, guys, that was uh, some of the tips that I wanted to give. Um, so what I'm saying is be consistent from day one, start your preparation. Whenever you're getting time from day one, start preparation. So you're reading for every day consistently is better than rather than the last three months you're dumping. It's not going to help you in the long run. So thank you guys.